Hi, I'm Todd with the Help Desk. I'm going to show you how to hook up the equipment that you just received. You should have received two monitors, a keyboard, and a mouse directly from the supplier, as well as a box similar to this one. In your box, you should have received the telephone, the power brick for the telephone, as well as the cord, a thin client, a power supply for the thin client, a network cable for the thin client, a video adapter uh, so that you'll be able to hook up the second monitor, an extension for your headset, and the headset itself. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your equipment. We're going to start with the monitors. You will have two of these. Um, on the back of the monitor, there's a connector for the power cable and the video cable. The power cable simply slips right in, and the video cable will connect, and then there are two screws on the side that you'll turn to get a good connection. I've already connected the cables on the second monitor here. Okay, now we're going to connect the monitors to the back of the thin client. You'll notice on the back of the thin client, there's actually only one monitor connector. So one of the monitors will get connected there, and then right above that is where the adapter will be used to connect the second monitor. And you'll be able to tell it, it will only fit one way, and you just push it in until it clicks. Okay, we're going to connect the first monitor to the adapter and once again it will only fit on one way. Push it in, tighten the screws, and you're good to go. And we'll connect the other one directly to the thin client. Then all we have to do is plug in the power for the monitors and the monitors are good to go. All right, next we're going to connect the keyboard and the mouse. I'm going to start with the mouse. Uh, both the keyboard and the mouse have USB connectors. These only will fit one way. And on the back of the thin client, we have four slots, four USB slots. You simply give it a little pressure, push it in, it's connected. And we'll do the same thing with the keyboard. And that's that. Next, we're going to connect the power supply to the thin client. Uh, there's two connectors, one that goes into the back of the thin client, and of course, the other one that goes into the wall. To connect it, simply line it up in the hole at the bottom, give it a little push, and we're connected there. The other end of the cable then, you'll plug into the wall. Now we're going to discuss connecting your phone. First we're going to unbox the phone. You have the handset cord. Yours may already be connected. The handset itself. The phone. And a network cable. First thing we'll do is go ahead and connect the handset cord to the handset. The short end gets plugged into the handset, and if you look inside it, you can see that the little pin of the end of the cord will point toward the mouthpiece. We just put it in there, give it a push, it'll click into place. The other end of the handset cord, if we take the phone and flip it over, You'll see right here there's a picture of a handset. Line up the little clicker there, push it in, and then there's a channel relief here that we can slip the cord into. Okay. Okay, so we've got the handset connected. Now, in order to adjust the height of the phone, there's a button on the right side of it. Simply press that in, 
lean the phone up, and the little stand on the back will drop down. And it's, it's got multiple adjustments, multiple settings, and however you want to set it up. Okay. Next, we're going to take the network cable and get it unwrapped. Okay. The network cable, if you flip the phone over, gets plugged into the center of the three spots. The other end of your cable will get plugged in to your router or your cable box, whatever you may have. Now we're going to use the second network cable that you received in your box to connect the phone to the thin client. First we're going to connect it to the back of the phone, simply flip the phone over. It goes to the slot to the right of where the network cable for the phone connected, pushes in there. Then we're going to take the other end and plug it right into the network port on the back of the thin client. Okay, the last part of the phone setup is to connect the power. We have the two parts, the brick itself, we'll take it out of the box, and then the power cable that we'll plug into the brick and then into the wall. So we plug that right in there, and then the other end here plugs into the back of the phone. <coughs> goes just below the network cables. Just line it up there, push it in. There's a relief channel there to put the cord in. And plug the other end into the wall and we're good to go. Now we're going to hook up the headset. There are two parts to the headset. The headset itself and the cord that actually connects it to the phone. We're going to get the headset out of the box. <clears throat> We're going to connect the cable, and this cable will only connect one way. Not like that, but like that. And then at this end, we have a, what looks to be like a phone jack connector. That will plug into the back of the phone right above where we plugged in the handset earlier. Once again, run it through, run the wire through the relief channel, and the headset is now hooked up. Now that all the equipment is connected, all that's left is to turn it on. Press the power button on the thin client, and your monitor may differ, but uh, press the power button on the monitors, and we're on our way. We hope you found this instructional video helpful. Should you require further assistance, please call us at the help desk.